Welcome, this is video three, nomination process, the petition. The most important document in the nomination packet is the nomination petition. So let's take a look at what's required. When the candidate is issued the nomination petition, most of the fields will be populated by the city clerk. The candidate's name, the office, the jurisdiction, the election date, and the candidate's contact information. In the remaining fields of the petition, the candidate is required to complete the petition by obtaining sponsoring signatures, completing the declaration of circulator, listing how the candidate wants his or her name to appear on the ballot, listing a ballot designation, and completing the affidavit of nominee and oath of allegiance. As the regulations for ballot designations are lengthy and complicated, those instructions are covered in a separate video. Let's look at the petition signatures and circulating the petition. To qualify as a candidate on the ballot, the candidate must obtain up to 20, but no more than 30, signatures of registered voters in the district from which the candidate is running. 20 of those signatures must be valid to qualify. If after submitting all nomination documents, the petition is determined to have less than 20 valid signatures, a supplemental petition may be issued. The issuance of a supplemental petition does not extend the filing deadline. Only one person may circulate the petition, which may be circulated by the candidate or by any other person qualified to register to vote in the election. The candidate may sign his or her own petition. After all signatures have been gathered, the circulator must complete, date, and sign by hand the declaration of circulator. Now let's look at the affidavit of nominee and oath of allegiance. This section of the petition has three parts. Parts 1 and 2 are contained in the affidavit and part 3 in the oath. Part 1 is the candidate's name as it is to appear on the ballot. Part 2, the ballot designation as it is to appear on the ballot and the oath of allegiance. So part 1 will start with the candidate's name. Using all capital letters, the name shall be printed. A nickname may be used in addition to a formal name. However, no titles or degrees are permitted. Part 2 is the ballot designation. Using both upper and lower letters, the ballot designation shall be printed. The candidate must choose from one of the four types of designation categories, or choose not to list a designation. As I mentioned, the regulations for ballot designations are lengthy and complicated. Therefore, those instructions are covered in a separate video. And finally, part three, the Oath of Allegiance. The candidate must execute the Oath of Allegiance at the bottom of the affidavit. This is a self-subscribed oath, Simply date and sign at the bottom. The candidate is not required to have the oath given in the presence of the city clerk or a notary public. For detailed instructions and illustrations, refer to the candidate instructional guide. This ends the nomination process video in the informational series. For the next set of instructions, watch video 4, Ballot Designations.